Hello and welcome to your astrological vibrations for Saturday, September 23rd, 2023 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I find my balance on the beauty way. And welcome to Sun in Libra. As of this recording, we still have several hours of Sun in Virgo left. I'm very excited for the Sun in Libra transit. However, it may not be the most easy, balanced, blissful, beautiful time that we could have with Libra. We have some shadow balancing to do as Libra ushers in our second eclipse season with an eclipse in the sign of Libra on October 14th. So we have a little while before we get there, but Libra lessons abound. And I've been thinking about what is the theme for Libra, especially with the south node in the sign of Libra, especially with this eclipse coming up in the sign of Libra. And I just kept hearing beauty, the beauty way, beauty, the beauty way. And it feels reasonable. <laughs> but I was, I actually was compelled before recording to look it up. And the beauty way is actually um, connected to a Navajo concept of living. And I was like, oh, how interesting. Like it was very insistent. <laughs> and that's why I felt that, com felt compelled to look it up because I know enough about beauty. But the beauty way. I'm going to read this from here. Um, living in a holistic environment of beauty, balance, harmony, and well-being. The beauty way is to be aware and attuned to the essence of beauty, not a particular form or superficial aesthetic, but it's the skillful means of awareness, intention, community, spiritual practice, and ceremony um, to live harmoniously with all of life with nature with our own self with our loved ones and community and wow that's a commitment especially with eclipse season coming in um this eclipse season coming in this eclipse in the sign of libra just like we had that venus retrograde which was which was challenging for relationships um, I believe this Libra season, especially with this eclipse coming in, and as well as the South Node continuing to move through Libra, Libra for the next year and a half, may all be challenging on relationships. Because, hopefully in this, we are shifting the relationship, the balance, the harmony within ourselves, within the world that we associate with. And that will bring change in our relationships. Now, this isn't good or bad. Actually, I think it is good. But it's not bad. It doesn't necessarily have to be hard. But chances are it's going to come with hardship. And that's why seeing the beauty in, in the light side of things and in the challenge of things can be really powerful. And kind of what we're looking towards with this sun in Libra. By the way, happy equinox. The equinox comes in with sun in Libra. And PSPS, PS, happy birthday to Wolf. Wolf is a September 23rd Libra kitty. So Wolf is turning two. Holy cow. Can't believe we've had Wolf for two years. She's a tiny kitten in my mind, but she is a full Wolf cat now. Um, so Libra, let's dig into Libra. Libra loves balance, peace, harmony, centering. Libra loves to be chatty and get into the gossip and know everything that's going on. Um, Libra a lot of times will sacrifice their inner harmony or anybody with strong Libra. It's not just Libra sun signs. Anybody with strong Libra can sacrifice that inner harmony for outer harmony leaving the inside topsy-turvy. My teacher, Khufu, who I always have his, his picture over there. My teacher, Khufu, used to say, Libras think that they're balanced, but they're usually usually in chaos. And what I how I take that is that chaos that comes from not being true to ourselves. So our work in this beauty way, our work in finding balance or attaining balance 
or remembering balance or shimmying through balance over the next 30 days is to remember ourselves in the picture of balance, to remember ourselves in the harmony scheme, that if you are off balance because of over-serving, over-giving, over-doing, over-aesthetically beautifying your world in one way or another, then you're not actually creating harmony. It may be beautiful to look at, it may seem pleasant, but it's an unstable foundation that can't stay in balance for long. So this is the work and it is some work. I will tell you, I have, I have three planets and a Lilith in Libra. Um, it's enough. It is enough to have in, in the sign of Libra. Uh, and it's a lot of work sorting my way through being taught um, to harmonize outside myself, to please everybody else, to be a people pleaser in so many ways, to bring that back to myself and learn what harmony even feels like in myself. And I think we learn this by going out and being in nature and being in relationship with nature and seeing how things can seemingly fall out of balance and then come right back into balance. Um, that is such a great teacher for us. So keep that in mind over the next 30 days. And of course, there's time for beauty and pleasure in and through this. Um, please, please indulge in that. But look to see where you can cultivate it in, in and of yourself. It's interesting because I love the, the wee moon cal calendar. Um, this is what I use to look at the transit times and I find it really helpful. Um, and I don't usually look at like the year ahead glance. And as I was sitting here, I was like, what is the year ahead glance for Libra? And it was just interesting because it was talking about, don't get too hyper fixated on romance. Um, and I was like, yeah, you know, like Libra can really bring in that hyper fixation, not so much on romance, but partnership, romance, being fulfilled by another, being balanced by another. And while those are beautiful concepts, and that's something to completely let go of. There's a beauty in learning that within ourselves. And so I encourage you to move through that, through our time of Sun and Libra. Now, for Saturday, the sun is going to be at zero all day. You may find yourself particularly off balance. You may not feel warm and fuzzy. You may feel a little tired and a little bit scatterbrained. Libra is an air sign. So again, like how the winds will blow, you know, we go this way, we go that way. It's all over the place. Um, Libra tends to pendulum. You may find yourself swinging around quite a bit, trying to find what does center even feel like? What does balance even feel like? What does beauty feel like? There are two things that came to me today as I was thinking about this when it comes to beauty. One is, actually they both kind of go together. One is one of my favorite Rumi verses. You've probably heard me say it a million times, but I love it so much. Let the beauty you love be what you do. There's hundreds of ways to kneel and kiss the ground. Let your life unfolding be beautiful and recognize the beautiful in your life unfolding, whether it's changing a diaper, taking out the trash, petting your cat, kissing your loved one, doing your job, <laughs> sleeping in, letting your bed be messy. Can you see the beauty? In it. There's hundreds of ways to kneel and kiss the ground. There's hundreds of ways to find the reverence in the moment. And the other one was just Joseph Campbell, follow your bliss. How beautiful is that? And that is such a beautiful pleasure generator. Our true sense of bliss, I believe, does come from aligning with God's spirit universe. Um, it's when people do bhakti, when they, when they sing chants and they find themselves in bliss because they're in communion with God universe. And so follow your bliss through this time. Remember what your bliss is. Remember that which calls you. Remember that which pulls you. And see where you can relate with that energy and move into it. Um, today, speaking of Venus, Venus and Chiron will connect. This is their third connection as Venus is direct, but there's healing in this. So we may find some healing today on this beauty path, in this beauty way. 
Um, moon in Capricorn may be a little bit of a drill sergeant moving through the day, especially as it builds to a connection with Mars later in the evening. Um, Mars is actually in Libra, so Mars might be like, I'm in the beauty. And Capricorn's like, okay, we'll scrub the floors. Get to work. Do the things you got to do. So watch for that where that may, you know, kind of pull you off balance. Whose voice is that? Like when that comes into your mind, who's voice is living in you giving you the shoulds and can you shift that voice into balance into alignment for yourself um we of course do have the schizophrenia card for today so like i said penduliming will happen during this libra season along with it we've got the laziness card laziness card is a card of your dreams actually coming true and being in the daydream take a little time that's part of the balance is letting yourself rest so find rest in the balance um we have the adventure card to me the adventure card is showing us what's up there is work there's finding the beauty in in the shadow side in the challenges so just be aware of that incoming with that eclipse energy bring your consciousness with you and finally going hand in hand with the laziness card is the exhaustion card i have found myself to be quite tired the last few days and i'm grateful that i gave myself permission for being because i needed it and that's part of me finding working that balance in me so that is it for today. Just FYR, I, R, F Y R. <laughs> Mars is going to be opposing Chiron on Sunday. So definitely some healing around worth and beauty and all of these things coming up through this weekend. Notice where you can feed into the healing of it for yourself. And notice as you are working in the healing for yourself, how it spreads around. So that's it for today. Uh, you can book a reading, Eclipse readings. The Eclipse is October 14th. I am going to be officially starting them this week. I thought I was going to do last week, but it felt too soon. This week feels better. Um, email me for that or any other reading. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power and remember who you are. Namaste.